Nelson Chamisa and the Vice President General Chuenga fight? When did it all start? Why is it that in the presence of General Chuenga, Nelson Chamisa is receiving banning of rallies? Hello and welcome to JCTV Africa, number one political analyst in Zimbabwe. As we look at issues that are trending, the first thing that I want to look at is during the 2017 Operation Restore Legacy, which is still looks like a coup. You remember just after the Operation Restore Legacy in 20, 2017, Nelson Chamisa and Tendai went to the US. This is the trip that people suggested that they were going there to ask for sanctions and to make sure that they cripple the economy of Zimbabwe. However, Nelson Chamisa was not yet then the president of the MDC alliance. He was still the vice president. The president then, still Mugen Changrai, was still around. There was a debate that was there in parliament, and the vice president, General Chuenga, was just answering oral questions. And this is what happened. Vice president, Nikane Nika Zino Zikanwa, Nekuti Varwe Wondo, Ndivo Zinde Rekuga Zikana Kwenika Fasiros. Kungawa kuna na Vietnam, kuna na America, kuna na UK. Zunwe rezu no kufa zaipa mrao ne policy ya uru mende. Kut 37 years. Nas, tichiri kutaura, nilozo wati maganga mstunga mira chirungwasha kakosha, cheku restore legacy. Inga restore ka legacy, elipa 37 years. Wa tichingora mba tichiti tiluku mbo ongorora, tichiri kuru za makuona. Azisi zunu zwa mnu na sokuti zwa kanganisa, kumira chimiro che uru mende kunyanya nyanya takatari sana nyaya kuti zvamuri kutaura izvi hazvina mukana watinga zvawo kushika ningo ya cut tino etawa ne mhinduro yokuti vashani vakashandira nyika ino vanga vachigadziriswa hakuna chinga kosha kudarika murwe we wondo saka tona kuti chinhu ichochi chigadziriswe nokuti isuma onerere ndokuti zvimwe zvese zvingatomira Kuti warwi wa usunguko wange wa chigara swagana. Oda. Mr. Speaker, say, I want to thank uh, the honorable member for that question. To those who don't understand Shona, Nelson Chamisa was trying to say here that he understands that the government must prioritize the war veterans as it is a norm in many countries that people that fought in the war are supposed to be honored and they're supposed to be given a better life which, which means in their remuneration it must be very well uh they must be taken care of by the government and they must be given remuneration and they must not live a life of begging because they fought for the country and in response the vice president said that I wish we could have such mentality, but only that you should not go to the U.S. and ask for sanctions. That is where the fight started. It became subtle during the 2018 elections. Why? It was because during the 2018 elections, still people were still in the euphoria of what happened in the Operation Restore Legacy. Operation Restore Legacy promised a better life and a better future for Zimbabweans. And the president was busy signing deals and appearing on newspapers saying he's signing deals and investment was going to come. So everyone believed and nobody cared about who is Nelson Chamisa. So the fight was not evident. However, things took, took a sharp turn when the former president, Robert Mugabe, said this a day before the elections. I can't vote for that. <laughs> I think I can't. 
So, so it's uh, it's uh, the MTC, Maim Juru, Coupe, and 22 others, Arabic <laughs> man. <laughs> I have said the, the, the two women don't seem to offer very much. So what what is there? I think it's just Chamisa. <laughs> <laughs> This is where it all started to go wrong. This is where the, the enmity kind of like grew. And we can see it growing day by day, including last year when they were saying that we are going to rule until the cows come home. Which means that the story here is they don't want Shamisa near the presidency. And you remember this statement where he said that we are going to crush triple C like lies. Uh, this brings me to this prophecy, which was brought by the cousin of the vice president, Apostle T.F. Chuenga. Let's take a listen. Asukuwa tu shirukitu wana mungari, kuta apripe munu harda kuta agozo tunga mira, asa tava ready, kunyange jajwa, marari kumuka ziri na kutishu, jake shukira shukarari. Saka tisha tombo pinda pa trouble sometime. And the men of them, they have more explanations to give kuna mwari than the wana wawari kuti waka hipa. Angobachi wanto nero paraka wandisa mwoko mawo kufura wana wawari kuti waka hipa. Apana chawari kumbopu wana mwari waka ngoizu kwa na mwari kuti wana wawa wone it was gone. But I doubt more Those One of the things that is mentioned in the prophecy is that they think that they are better. And how does that happen? Remember, when they, when they got into power, they said, this is a new dispensation. And it is a mantra to everyone. They say, this is a second republic. So in order to de-associate themselves from the previous leader, Robert Mugabe, this means that they reckon themselves better than Robert Mugabe. However, they have failed dismally. In terms of opposition, in terms of opposition parties being jailed, a lot of opposition party leaders have been jailed, have been incarcerated without charge. Journalists have been jailed without charge. And this is different from Robert Mugabe. He had divergence of views. He was a tyranny. There are a lot of things that we can blame on Robert Mugabe. But the way how things have escalated in terms of people who are charged with treason by this second republic it is totally outrageous anyway tell me what you think in the comment section about this about the fight between nelson chamisa and the vice president and the rallies that are being banned i'll see you again on the next video please subscribe and share this video with your family and friends